Only in Canada, eh? Pity. Ah, oh, Canada. This is United A Holes, a video cast discussing cultural topics with no filter. Welcome back to Area 41. Red Green's favorite spot on the internet. Nicely done. Yeah. Happy Tell Canada Day, everyone. Happy Canada yeah. Day. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Happy Keep your stick on the ice. Yeah. We have Don't lots of Did you guys ever see the Red Green movie? No. Oh, there's, there's a, a Red movie. Green movie. It's awesome. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize. I know we did specials and everything, yeah, but I didn't good. realize there was a Red Green movie. Yeah, it's awesome. I'd be in for that. So uh, we're here to talk about Canada Day and, and all this Canadian stuff. We're all dressed in garb. Canadiana. So, see, Brent's Randy a, took some time off of his fucking hog riding. The, yeah, <laughs> riding I was the ripping the roads, <clears throat> being Canadian, with my helmet on, waving to every fucking vehicle. <laughs> he's hand he's, down, hand he's, up. Yeah. He's going casual. Normally, he has a bow tie. Some biker's gonna watch this and kick my ass for some of the comments I'll make. So I'm, what's this? I'm right thinking the gypsies are coming for you. Actually, yeah, the Canadian gypsies. <laughs> That's this a slang term we're not allowed to use anymore. A gypsy? Gypsy, yeah, a gypsy, yeah. The minstrel so, gypsy. So what are they called? We got kind of gypped on this. No, by the Stampeders. <laughs> nomadic nice. tribes. They're just nomadic people. So so gypsy Freelance. Gypsy is is like the no N word? Yes. Now? Is it that bad? Well, okay. almost. I don't think it's that bad. Nothing's that bad. You said gypsy three times. <laughs> yeah, and you, you said the N word. word. Well, now I would say the G word. Okay. <laughs> Yo, G, what's up, dog? <laughs> What's happening with all this shit sitting on the table? This is all stuff that you can only get in Canada. What do we got here, bud? Uh, well, there's hickory sticks. There are ketchup flavored potato chips. Craft dinner. I know you can get mac and cheese other places, but craft dinner. I found out just today. Uh, you, it's only sold in Canada by Craft. Uh, Smarties, coffee crisp, crispy crunch. The ever dangerous Kinder egg, Kinder surprise egg, because there's something people will die big enough that you couldn't actually swallow it inside the chocolate. But it's a choking hazard because right. it's inside right. food. Not here. So that's Not why here. they won't sell it. In the and that's states. why U.S. won't. You, you can't cannot. have something in food. I have heard of people buying them here food. to take back to their kids and getting caught at the border with them and they confiscate them. They literally won't let them into the country. And then they eat them and almost choke and die. Yeah. <laughs> they, they stake out all the fancy restaurants. We've lost many a good U.S. border agents to That's get right. eggs. <laughs> when will the madness end? And in the middle of it is a bottle of maple syrup which actually came from my grandfather's sugary which is now run by my uncle since my grandfather passed away. So that's... that's, that's Was it the syrup that did it? Yeah. Yeah, it was laced. Well, uh, are, are we doing shots like we did the scotch? Or? We can. That's never been open. That's a brand new bottle, man. Right, right out of the freezer. We just pass the bottle around, take a swig. There you go. And hope so you know, nobody has the herpes. <laughs> I don't want any. We've been to Area 41 have. over 50 times. We all have the herpes by now. Yeah, true that. It's propagated. I don't have herpes. <clears throat> so, yet. <laughs> I think we had talked about doing stories related to the most Canadian experience you could have. And I think a couple of the a-holes went away and come back with memorable moments. So if you're all right, I'm, I'm going to yeah. the, throw the bone your way. I'm passing to you. <laughs> I have been passed Two. on to. Yeah. Yeah. You have the baton. <laughs> so we're going to do our best to not interrupt these stories. They could be lengthy. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not agreeing to that. <laughs> I mean, if I've got a good singer, <laughs> we'll just have to apologize after in a very it's Canadian being way. Sung. Yeah, it's being that's sung. a Canadian expression. Anyway, uh, so my girlfriend was living in Halifax. I thought we were saying true stories. Oh yeah, fuck. Okay, uh, my mom was living in Halifax. This isn't the VR show. Oh, the guy that comes up with the rule not to interrupt. Yeah. Fucking second one in on the gang pile, the dog pile on the guy. That's fucking mob mentality. <laughs> yeah. God. Continue. May I continue? Sure. Ken? God. <laughs> so anyway, so I wanted to go, you know, I would go visit her. And so one time I went and I have a history of having car trouble. Not major car trouble, but like I've had to change a lot of tires so anyway, just outside of Moncton, one of my tires goes. It blows. It's not 
You know, I can't put air in it. I need it tired. So I'm, I'm on the highway, just like off the side of the highway, and I start making calls. And I first I call um, the a local, like a Moncton dealership for the type of car I have. And I'm like, hey, I have like, and I basically, I try to get them to maybe come out and help me and bring tools because I find out I don't have the tools to change a tire. Oh, damn. I don't have a- anything. So I call them and they basically say, no, we don't do that. Like, um, is this at nighttime? When no, this is, this or? is, no, this is like probably 11 a.m. So then I start to think and I get the idea of like, if I can call a taxi, I can get a ride to some place to grab some tools if I can borrow them or something. So I start calling taxis. One says no. Then I call George's taxi in Moncton, which it, so I call George. Um, and, and I explain the situation. I'm like, I don't have a tire. I don't have any tools to change a tire. I'm halfway on my journey and fucked. So George at George's taxi is like, yeah, I think uh, I think uh, I know someone with those tools. So I'll call you back in 15 minutes. So I was like, uh, okay, cool. So I hang up 10, 15 minutes later, he calls me back and he's like, okay, I have someone with the tools. Where, where are you? I tell him and he goes, okay, I'm coming to you with the tools. So then I'm like, so thank you. Like, so I hang up. He texts me every five minutes. I'm, I'm 20 minutes away. I'm 15 minutes away. He goes up until I am one minute away. <laughs> nice. Then he does I am zero <laughs> minutes away as he's pulling in behind me, George's taxi. Maybe he thought you were going to shoot him. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so he comes out and he's just, you know, <laughs> he's just, you know, jolly guy. And, uh, so he, he has tools and I, I tr- start to try and get the tire off and I can't get it off. Like where I'm beating on it, I can't get it off. So anyway, he ends up driving back into the city to grab a sledgehammer, come back out. We keep trying, we can't get it. He, know, he has a buddy with a garage in Moncton. So he's like, okay, you follow me and we'll go to this garage. So I follow behind him the entire time he wants to be on the phone with me. I don't know why, but I had, I was on the phone with him the whole time and it was mostly silence. <laughs> anyway, um, but if the connection dropped or anything, he would call me back, of course. Um, so we get to the garage um, and uh, so we, we don't have a tire yet and they don't have a tire. So I jump in the van with George and we drive to go buy a tire from another friend he has. On the way there, George started telling him about himself, me about himself and that he is a stand-up comedian that goes by the name of Pierre the Wannabe Comedian. <laughs> and so name. <laughs> he started to do bits for me <clears throat> as we were driving to buy a tire. Was it, a, was he, it a character? Like did he, did kind he, of, okay, kind of, not really though. <laughs> okay, it was okay. still George from George's taxi. <laughs> also, he had a giant fucking tour bus that he took people on tours, and he showed me a picture while he's driving. By the way, he's driving, and he starts looking on his phone to show me a picture of his fucking bus, and it's a nice bus though, <laughs> like a forty thousand dollars. Like it's nice. Anyway. So he starts doing these bits for me. And just as a, you know, just, I know you're wondering what kind of jokes does Pierre, the wannabe comedian, have? So this is one he would do. So uh, O.J. Simpson's in the news lately. This was less than a year ago. This was last (laughs) summer. (laughs) So we all know, you know, O.J.'s, you know, in the news. Anyway, so it's uh, so OJ's in the news lately. Yeah, he's uh, he's getting married again. Yeah, he thinks he'll take another stab at it. <coughs> that was one of his jokes. <laughs> Fucking hilarious jokes, and I fake laughed the whole time <laughs> because this guy is doing me a real solid. <laughs> like, oh Pierre, you're so funny. Oh, you're, you're so funny, Pierre. <laughs> anyway, so we go, we buy the tire. He drives me back to the garage. 
the entire time he's fucking slinging jokes at me, all as funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts asking me about my work and if we throw holiday parties and did they ever, you know, did they ever hire uh, like stand ups? And I was like, we had Jimmy the janitor, George. We had Jimmy the janitor. And so he started like, well, what would they charge for that? And all this stuff. And I'm thinking like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I get the tire put on my car. He starts to leave. His van runs out of gas. It's been about three hours that I've been with George and Pierre. <laughs> so he runs out of gas. He gets in my car. We drive to a gas station where he can buy. He first, he thinks he's going to borrow a gas can from them. He's like my dad, where he thinks everyone is just like, oh, yeah, take it. But uh, anyway, so he buys gas. We drive. He puts gas in his van. D did they give him the gas can, though? He bought one. Oh, okay, okay. And even then, <clears throat> he's fucking standing there, and I'm trying to make my way to my car, but he keeps talking, and he keeps doing bits. And he's like, this is how I start my, this is how I start my, my set. And he does it. I can't really remember. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and the whole time he kept going like, hey, could you uh, review me online? give me a really good review and stuff. And I was like, oh, totally, yeah, like I will. <laughs> anyway, finally he shuts up. I pay him and then I leave. But like, I've never forgotten Pierre the wannabe comedian. And I, I hope to God he's, he's, you know, not dead. That is a very Canadian story. <laughs> Did it's he awesome. charge you for any of that? Yes. I ended up paying him about 160 to $180. Wow. Okay, that's not, not bad. bad. But no. he spent half a day. He was with there. Him. Yeah, he was there for a while. He like he did me a real solid. Yeah. Did you? Did you? I didn't have time to review him. No, Pierre. Well, Pierre, if you see this video, <laughs> Fuck, no. And you Pierre. review us. Pierre. We'll review you back, buddy. Pierre, I will review you. Pierre, the right. wannabe comedian. Yeah. Pierre, though. What? Do you remember George's last name? No, I don't. But George's taxi. George's taxi George's in taxi. Moncton. Best taxi experience I've ever had. So if you're in Moncton, was it was it a nice Jordan's. looking cab or because it was fine? I mean, most it was, yeah, you know was, people, you know, you know, like not to disparage cab drivers, but they usually don't have forty, fifty thousand. No, he had bus, a nice you know? bus, Ken. <laughs> he had a nice bus for, for when he goes on tour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, boys. It, George's taxi. He owns a fleet. He may not even been in a taxi. No, he told me all the ins and outs of his company. Oh, yeah? His fleet was about, he wanted to have about three cars sometime within the next few weeks. Okay. It was just him. There goes that theory. It, was, it wasn't <laughs> George's taxis, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys, I think we better buckle in. Oh, he was on the Laugh Factory. Comedian Pierre. Uh, oh, no, no. Okay, it doesn't say Pierre the wannabe, so that's not him. No, right? that's not him. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, Damn. Damn. I was hoping Joel I found a here. clip of him. All, All right, right, boys. Cool. We got to buckle in. I All think right. we got a doozy based on what I've been foretold. So, Kendall, we'll do our best not to interrupt. Take us on your wild, wacky ride. <laughs> 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 <laughs>